It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? I figured um, it would be about as appropriate time as any to unbox this one. This would be Brother Lazarus, the Plague Doctor. Uh, yeah, this video brought to you by uh, COVID-19. That's right, COVID-19. Affecting elderly, well, actually, not just elderly, it's affecting everybody. So, um, there's that. Um, yeah, bad stuff. Um uh real 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 shit though guys um i got a brother who's um he works for a fire department and he's uh kind of uh, gets dispatched with the paramedics and uh he got exposed to it just recently so i'm i'm hoping he makes a, a recovery and uh yeah and uh was able to help more people because uh a lot of people who get affected with uh COVID-19 happen to be um not only the elderly and well anybody can come down with it and especially symptoms or what have you but also um the health professionals and emergency service and first responders so uh so my heart goes out to you guys Thank you for doing the work that everyone else would run from and be scared of. And uh, so anyway, without further ado, let's open up this Brother Lazarus, the Plague Doctor. Now, I picked this up from Reaper directly from them. And so I'm pretty sure the, uh, you know, I paid $8.99 US for this. Um, you know, so I definitely love the Dungeon Dwellers line. You guys told me, heard me go off about it all the time. So, uh i'm gonna have a lot of fun painting this um one thing i'm never really a fan of is round bases however these aren't the thin whiz kid bases these are the nice tapered bases that you know have that quarter round sort of taper on the edge of it so that's not too bad um a little bigger than the one inch that we're used to so i believe this would probably come off as a 32 millimeter base so let me just get this out just to see 32 millimeter, of course, my friends, is what uh, a lot of game systems are using when they're, yeah, so that is, uh, yeah, that's 30, that's a 32 millimeter base. So that's where they went with that. So um, if you don't want to use this sort of base for that, you can always save this for one of your Space Marines instead. So, because a lot of them are going for that. So we got, looks like a, uh, a short sword in need of some desperate Viagra. Lucky for us. This happens to be pewter, so we can just bend that right back out and then yeah, do some fine tuning on it a little bit later. But we don't have to worry about hot water and cold water doing that trick with that. So that is pretty much what we got. So it's a basically a, uh, a plague doctor. He's got the mask on, some goggles. Looks like he has a vial of some sort of antidote. See if I can get the camera to focus just a little better here. Come on, we're going for quality. There we sort of go. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I'm having a, just a little bit of a tough time with the camera today. I do apologize, folks. So, but yeah, that's what we got. Um, still a little bit crooked on the sword, kind of bugging me. So let's just waste some more time trying to straighten that out. Why you guys get to expect some sort of ex-wife joke from me or something so we got that so yeah i think it's great i think it's going to paint up nicely a lot of the reaper metal stuff does um my favorite thing to do is to take some of the bone stuff paint it along the side of the metal counterparts and see if i can get people to guess which what um you know the theory is if you paint well enough you're not going to be able to tell the difference so we got that so let's get this base on here snap him together like so and then let's put him up next to our our deep shadow elf and sir for scale and do a little zoomy zoomy well not sure what the camera did there but i'm not sure i like that and that's what we got going on so let's get this out again so to all of my American friends, we're looking at this miniature being right around probably about an inch and a half tall. And then, sorry, I'm not getting this on camera. 
Um, and then as far as it goes for metric system, it's about 35 millimeters in height. And that's what we got going on for there. Um, great miniature. Um, I kind of ordered it right before this whole coronavirus thing kind of kicked off. And so it was just, uh, no, don't blame me for the coronavirus. I can see you in the comment page, the comment section. Hit backspace or delete. Delete the comment that you're about to leave because that's just messed up. And then, um, but the thing about it is, would I buy this again? Um, given the situation right now, I would probably let the dust settle a little bit. Um, you know, just kind of, uh, yeah, just kind of the, uh, the tumbleweed blows by and you hear the whispering, too soon. So uh, yeah, it doesn't yeah, it doesn't quite work for it for me. I'm uh, trying to not be that ghoulish. Um, for the, those of you who know me, I do have some sort of heart. Um, but anyway, um, but if I w were I to buy this, if let's say there's wasn't some sort of pandemic going on, yeah, I, I would buy it. I think it's kind of a cool miniature. Um, that being said, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope all you guys out there get through this. It's a, uh, you know, it's 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 a tough thing. Um, I hope you and all your loved ones are safe, and uh, for the love of God, I hope you <laughs> I hope you find, manage to find some toilet paper because I don't know what's going on, but I think people are resorting to eating it. Peace.